This is lesson two in the Buzz Touch Essentials learning path, and we're going to go over some control panel basics. So I've logged into the Joe user account, which is a test account, and I'm on my landing page, my account landing page, which is where you arrive after you successfully log in. So when you first log in, you'll see um, your Buzz Touch University or BTU progress. These white stars right here will turn to orange stars when you complete um, individual learning paths. So the Buzz Touch learning path is always uh, the first learning path that you'll take and then you have iOS and Android and different things to learn. Um, exploring our applications or exploring our account options we have our list of applications. Haven't created any applications yet. When you do begin to create applications you'll use the new app button and then you'll choose the version and off you go to make apps. The BuzzTouch U link shows you your progress in all of the different available lessons, um, your best score and the last time you took the lesson. Messages are from other users. Um, following, this shows you the people that you're following, other community members and other users that you're following, followers. Plugins are um, some details about individual plugins that you can um, use in your applications. You can, you can click on any of these plugins and it will show you some details about it, who made it, what it's for. Um, published applications. Um, this is a list of applications that you control. Um, when you make an app and you get it into an app store, you want to be sure and add it to your list of published apps so that we can help you get some publicity and get you some more downloads for your apps. The public profile is used um, so that other users in the community and other other folks that you work with in the forum um, can get a little bit get a little bit of deeper understanding about you. You can add a lot of information to this public profile. You can add just a little if you want. Um, you can see I, I uploaded my Bigfoot picture because I'm a Bigfoot fan. Um, tell a little bit about myself and where I'm located and those kinds of things. So be sure to set up your public profile um, however you think is appropriate for you. Um, your developer profile is used. Um, if you're looking for work, if you want um, iPhone or Android or maybe some um, control panel work, if you can help some people and actually make money or maybe you do it for free, whatever you want, um, filling in your developer profile is a great way to show off your skills. The self-hosted server list, um, when you get a little bit more experience, you may decide to run BuzzTouch on your own website. And when you do that, um, you'll be downloading the package and installing it on your own back end or your own server. And when you do that, this will show you a list um, of your servers or your one server so that you can manipulate um, some properties about that. Some email settings, some account settings, pretty basic stuff. So this is your account control panel, and it's where you land when you first arrive. Um, the other place that you'll spend a lot of time is in the forum. And when you're in the forum, you'll see that there's lots of different types of people that are involved. Um, it's really nice to have one of the one of the great things about BuzzTouch is this community that you can get involved in. And in the beginning, it, you might seem a little intimidated because you may be new or you you don't feel like you know enough to get involved in the community. But one of the most valuable assets um, to any developer is their network of um, friends and colleagues who are in the industry with them. So you want to you want to do what you can to get involved, and it'll really help you down the road. Um, you can look at our top 25 and. You can see lots of different types of people doing lots of different types of things. You can see these points below each person's profile. You earn points by creating plugins and participating in the forum and doing well in BuzzTouch U. And it's kind of a credibility score in it. And it helps us and it helps you and it helps other users get an understanding of who they're talking about. So this is everything about the forum. Um, so the forum and your account is where, where you'll spend most of your time. The rest of these links are mainly designed for people who don't know anything about BuzzTouch and who haven't logged in and they can explore and learn about it. So going back to our account, um, we logged in. We explored all the different options here on the left, very basically, of course. And then we didn't explore this up on the top right. So this shows you with the type of BuzzTouch account that you have. Um, if you're a super fan and you want to support us or you just want to um, upgrade your account because you think it's appropriate, maybe the limitations aren't, aren't um, accurate or enough for you, you can choose one of these upgrade options and convert your free account into a paid account. So you do that by clicking the upgrade button and then you choose um, 
the account type you want and then you fill out the payment information and you can upgrade. So not everybody does. Some people do, some people don't. It's entirely up to you. Um, and of course we appreciate it um, if you become a paying customer. So that is the control panel um, overview and finishes lesson two in the BuzzTouch Essentials learning path.